Okay, this is the school being moved to its new home, which is a snout, which is where I grew up. That area. I mean, it just feels so, it's taking me back, even though I wasn't even born, you know what I mean? I, but I, you know, came onto the scene, you had just regular schools, you know, so. I don't know about all this stuff here, but I'll tell you what, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. And they know it, it's emotional and everything. You can't help but be emotional, seeing it going to its new home. Okay, I gotta do it like this now, y'all. Yeah, I cut that back on. Yeah, that's what This is amazing. This is the most spectacular thing going on in Mount Pleasant, in Mount Pleasant right now. A school that was built by slaves all those years ago, but just so that their kids can learn, you know? And this thing is strong and sturdy, you know, and they, 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 they were thinking about, had the nerve to be thinking about destroying it. Everybody in the community said they could get that. Some nut just wanted to ride past fast, but I think he think he gonna get through, but he's not going anywhere. Not going anywhere. Yeah, right there, baby. And he knows he's not gonna go no further. So, there you go. Me, I'm gonna ride right behind this thing. One mile per hour. Yeah, like I was part of it. It's my ancestors that were in there. I got, you know, one of the oldest living people right now still right there. Take it to their house. Went to the school. People that's not even in the state that went to the school. It's in other states. Isn't that amazing? Look at it. It just looked like a, you know, a regular school. Little you can just probably fix up and go in there today. They even thought about shading off sitting out there on the low porch of the school. The picture of a little bell being rang. Some of these people are very emotional about this. And I am too because I know it was the majority of my family that was in there. And believe me, they benefited from them because they had a very intelligent. Okay, that. Made sure we were too. I'm glad I'm here to see this. They're not, but I'm seeing it. They're seeing it through my eyes. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? This is amazing. They should have just stopped the traffic on uh, on uh, the street altogether. School, the first and the only school built by slaves so that their kids and, and they could get in to learn all those hundreds of years ago. Black school built by the hands of slaves just so that their kids can learn. Still strong, still sturdy. You can look at it. It's just as strong as these other schools you see made of brick and mortar. You know, and you can tell. And it's going to a spot, it's going to the community that it served. 
Well, it just didn't just serve this community, it served this one and, and, and communities further because people used to walk 10 and 15 miles to get to it. How you doing? Should have stopped all the traffic on highway, uh, all main on uh, Stock Road. I mean, it's just, it's gonna be a slow process. They already done, uh, took care of the power lines. You see the power company up there? They took care of the power lines and everything. You know, as they gotta go through, they gotta lift these lines and things so that the truck can get through, so that the school can get through safely and everybody's safe. See, that's a strong building. Boy, that building there could tell some stories. I can just imagine. He used to hide in the school building and all kind of stuff. They don't tell us what all went on in there. Might be the first place where they even figured out who they were going to vote for and how they were going to vote. They probably just used it for all sorts of things that had to do. You know, they just got in there and probably felt real safe in that building. Anybody that's watching this video and like this, please subscribe to, to my channel. And also, uh, if y'all want to donate, they have a GoFundMe page for this school. Uh, it's trying to, you know, revitalize it and just, you know, bring it back to its natural state uh, and use it for uh, a history example. Uh, and so, with that being said, uh, they... Uh, if you, you know, they need donations, people to come by and see it. So if you could donate, uh, anything like that, that would be wonderful. Everybody feeling pretty good about that. Guys here, all a part of it. These guys here are doing a good job of it. Isn't there something? Look okay. at amazing. I mean, 
mean, amazing. And I'm enjoying every minute of it. I mean, they had, they, they had to really, really work on how to move this place, the school, how to get it there safely, walking through all these communities, slowly, one inch at a time. Um, just all the resources that had to come together to make this happen. Uh, but they, you know, they're making it happen. And it's the, you know, it's the community itself where it's going to that really paid and sponsored for this to happen. They did not want the school to go away. It just was too, 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 the history that came with it was just too much to just allow to, 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 to be torn down, which didn't make sense. This is like a diamond. Being taken back to Africa, you know. That's just how deep it is. Well, it's for the world to see, you know, that, hey, you know, this is what it took. Slaves had to build this thing in order for, uh, in order for, uh, our children to learn. Kids like me and everybody else. In order for us to learn and different things like that, we had to, you know, this, this school had to be. And it was built by the hands of slaves for their kids to learn. You know, my great grandmother, great 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 grandmother, great grandmother, and grandmother, and all that. It's just intricate. Very interested to get it where it's going. So glad to be a part of this and being able to bring this to you all my subscribers you know I love y'all I know I haven't brought y'all some things in a while but uh, I had some tragedies that took place and it took me off site for a little while but I hope y'all hang in there with me and, and get ready now because I'm getting ready to you know really do get some things for you all to see that a lot of people won't see you know this is a special event right here. This is a big deal. A school built by slaves for their children to learn. A hundred and something, over a hundred and something years old, still standing strong, being taken to the community of the kids where they're, they're taught, saving them from destruction. And look, you can see this, how strong it is. And you can see it. Back then, when this school was uh, constructed, put together, this was probably corn fields and cotton fields. I just, you know, I can't imagine how it looked around here. Now you got uh, houses and, you know, million dollar houses and stuff encasing it now. In one of the most Yeah. Trying to get it around the circle, which I know it's gonna be tough, but that guy is that driver is doing what he needs to do. Has to go around that circle. And he may be circling and coming back out is what might be happening. Because he couldn't make that turn. And that's beautiful. I mean, that is a beautiful building. Look at the window. They didn't touch the glass. The glass, everything is still intact. I mean, they preserved that school and they made sure no harm came to it. Might still be writing on the chalkboard. Might still be books in there. Just, I just can't imagine. 
Beautiful sight. Glad I'm here. Thank you. Thank you for letting me be a part of this. I appreciate this.